assume Robert Downey Jr. is back on drugs. <laughs> this will be good. Who oh. doesn't want to get back on drugs? <laughs> well, this is gonna be bad. I mean, seriously, he's not broke. He did. I mean, as much money as he's making from Marvel, he is not broke unless he is doing like several hundred pounds of cocaine a day. Me, me, I want to join. <laughs> I, want, I want to start coke with Downey. But Shh, fuck that. These, oh. these videos. He, he's in a series now. Not one. Not two, a series. I believe there's at least 11 of these HTC phone commercials that would not make sense on acid. <laughs> Probably why he did it, just to have fun with it. In one commercial, he like and another dude are like pretending to be attacked like as if they're in the military, like rolling around a room. The light starts going bad. They open a case of grenades. They take the light bulb out of a dangly light socket pull out a grenade, which just happens to have, like, the, the threading from a light bulb on the bottom, screw it in, and it glows, lights up the room, the end, they throw up the HTC logo. The commercials have nothing to do with phone, with HTC, nothing to do with smartphones. It's just this random, like, BS. It's like, and it ends with the HTC logo. They're kind of funny, but it's, okay. it's, it's okay. what? I, I got one here. This should be good. sound like Jarvis on the other end of the line. I'm just saying. That had nothing to do with anything. Yeah, well, and that's the one that makes the most, that one's the one that makes the most sense that I've seen. That one at least had a fucking phone in it. But I swear to God, listen to it again. I think it's, to me, it sounds like Jarvis on the other end of that crazy old phone. I, um, maybe, maybe he has become so rich that he has just become so eccentric. That he is just he lost is his Tony mind. Stark. I was going to say, he's playing oh, Tony see, like, Stark. Yeah, he's yeah, probably he just said, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit. In defense of your point, I have listened to his album. You, he, 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 Wait, what? Maybe. Oh, it's the worst album ever made, ever. He, he, did, he, did, he did a whole fucking album called The Futurist. I still love you, Robert. Amazing ah, actor, just don't uh, sing it again. It's, it, it, you're not Michael Jordan baseball. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a little too harsh there, man. That's, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so, so for the next Iron Man movie, he's gonna be wearing the, 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 the jersey number forty-five. <laughs> Jarvis uh. voice by Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so, how can I help you, Tony? <laughs> oh God! What's up, Tony? But yeah, at least that one has a phone in it. The rest make less sense. I, I just think maybe he's I become... I would trade Fluffy in for an Iron Man meets Space Jam crossover. I, I just think maybe yeah, he has become trade me in for two cents so eccentric that his That's mind true. has imploded, and the only thing left are his memories of being Tony Stark. So now he's just doing <laughs> any and everything because he has the same amount of money now. That's possible. But, but I want to re reiterate the point that from the article I read showed that one another one and mention something about the other ten. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at some point in time they actually advertise something in there. I, <laughs> From the article, they said that the article said something about them all being pretty much the same. Just insane bullshit that has nothing to do with what they're advertising. HTC logo cut. Well, you gotta admit, that, that is a good advertising idea because you're gonna everybody's the, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, and you're gonna remember HTC, this damn yeah. thing. On, on HTC I mean, we're sitting here having a fucking conversation about it. Yeah, like, from HTC, like, I get it. There we don't know unique, what it is we're talking about, unique, but damn it, we're talking about it. It's a unique advertising campaign. My point is, what the hell, Robert Downey Jr., how can you be that bored with hey, that much money? Hey, if you're tired of some of that money, Robert... I'll fix them for you. I'll spend it wisely. Hey, if no, you're you that won't. bored, you need to be on our show. Come on. Invite. <laughs> open invite. <laughs> for the record, if he shows up here in the next couple of weeks, first, how the fuck did you find us? And second, <laughs> can I have an autograph? Uh, hey, I, I will not ask the questions of how you stalked us and found out. You can, you can keep that for yourself. Just show up. This is part of the being eccentric. Uh, oh, God. 
And bring an Iron Man helmet. Bring an Iron Man helmet. <laughs> For everyone. You've got enough of them. I'll take a war machine. I'll take a Hulkbuster then. That might be big enough to fit you. 